Hello there, YouTube. It's your boy B3. Back with another kicking TV show review. This isn't normally the type of show I review on here, but it's one of my all time favorite shows, and I just had to talk about it. Has been Hotel Season 1. Yes, there was a pilot for it on the Busy Pop YouTube channel a while back. I've been waiting for this show to get picked up forever. Amazon. Uh, I'm recording this the day season one ended, and I'm very satisfied. God, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. Really great show. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Busy Pop, but if you've seen the web series Hell of a Boss, which is an animated musical uh, show about gay business owners in hell, uh, has been a hotel is her newest show, which is an animated musical about gay business owners in hell. <laughs> that seems to be her incredibly specific niche. But it's truly magnificent. The pilot and the first episode are free on her YouTube channel. For Hell of a Boss, I don't recommend watching the pilot first, because they changed a lot of characterization. But... Uh, I do recommend watching it for Has Been Hotel. And once again, the pilot and episode one are free on YouTube, on the Busy Pop YouTube channel. Then the rest, you gotta watch on Prime Video. Which I have, because Amazon Prime. So, Has Been Hotel is about the princess of hell, Charlie. Uh, and she opens this hotel to rehabilitate sinners. And the reason she wants to do that is because... She wants them to go to heaven so they won't be killed again. And it's kind of implied that if a human soul is killed again after death, then they maybe just die. People aren't really sure, according to the pilot, but that is that. So she, uh, her partner and lover, uh, Vaggy, uh, as well as many others, team up to try to rehabilitate others and themselves. And it's truly magnificent. Uh, hell, every year, comes and slaughters a bunch of demons in order to stop hell from being overpopulated. But it's really more of a bug's life kind of thing. Like, the show at its core is about redemption, but also it seems to maybe be a very big metaphor for class disparity. Huh, who knows? Who knows but it's truly truly fantastic they're getting help from a very powerful demon and there's lots of lower level demons as well uh people are making deals and their souls are getting taken it's 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 truly wonderful and it's got a completely different cast than the pilot for the most part and there's at least two musical numbers an episode uh, which is great for me because I'm actually a big fan of musicals and Broadway and there are a bunch of Broadway names attached to this project. And the music is absolutely incredible. Oh my God. Happy Day in Hell. Uh, you've got Respectless. Magnificent. Just filled me with such emotion and it's real classic Broadway kind of music too. It's truly, truly magnificent. The animation is spot on. Like, really fantastic animation. Like, it's pretty good in the cheap pilot, but, ooh, man. Top-tier stuff. Plus, Vizzy Pop, I think, is just a genuinely hilarious woman. Uh, I love her style of humor on this. Very, very funny. God, I just, I can't help but sing its praises. Uh... I do think there maybe should have been one more episode in the season. I think uh, between the next to last episode and the finale, I think maybe there should have been one more episode right there. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty amazing show. God, I love it. <laughs> and it's super gay, which is always fun for me. I actually wanted to make a video a little while ago about theories, but 
I figured I would just do that with any potential cliffhangers in this review instead. Uh, you know, my main theories have to do with the radio demon. Uh, he was gone for seven years before he reappears in the pilot. And... So, Charlie's mom, Lilith, was also gone for seven years. And big spoiler, we find out that Alistair's soul is actually owned. Uh, he's normally the one owning souls. Turns out he is actually secretly controlled by somebody. I think it's Lilith. Uh, so Alistair claims that he wanted to help the Hasbin Hotel because he found it entertaining. Uh, and that seems to be partially true, but it also seems like he really wants to manipulate Charlie. That is the real reason he is there, is to kind of pull her strings and mold her into something he wants her to be, and he can use her as a puppet to kind of rise in hell. But also, he seems very protective of her, not just because he needs her for his plans, but... If Lilith is the one pulling his strings, maybe she wants him to protect Charlie. Because she seems pretty protective of Charlie in flashbacks. Uh, she seems to want to keep Charlie away from Lucifer, who seems to be a pretty wholesome guy. Uh, and, I, and you don't really know why she wants <laughs> Charlie kept away from Lucifer. Because he seems like he really wants to be a good dad to her. But... Here's the thing. When Lucifer shows up, Alistair, the radio demon, tries to get between him and Charlie. Is he doing that for Lilith? I don't know. My big theory right now is just that Alistair is connected to Lilith. Uh, she is the one pulling his strings. At the end of the show, we see that she is in heaven. And... Uh, the heaven's going to kind of force her to go down and handle Charlie. And if she is in cahoots with Alistair, and Alistair now uh, has Charlie in his debt, and she owes him a hellbound favor, that could end up being pretty bad for the hotel. <laughs> and now, these are probably some of the biggest spoilers of all, I want to talk about Serpentius. The Snake Man. I fucking love Serpentius. <laughs> okay? He is... Uh, he's he's one of my all-time favorites. I think he might be my favorite side character. It's either him or Angel Dust. But I'm going to go with Serpentius. He's so funny. I love his design. I love his kind of pulpy war machines that look like they're out of a pulp novel or a pulp comic. Love it. He's He's cartoonishly villainous I, I love Serpentius and his redemption makes so much sense to me I loved it and then he gives his life for his new friends in the season finale but then later after the big reprise of Happy Day in Hell and everything we see him pop up in heaven <laughs> His soul gets sent to heaven after he dies again in hell, which is kind of amazing. So Charlie was right. It can happen. And <laughs> he gets redeemed and he appears in front of the seraphims, which means uh, that they now know it's possible too. magnificent. I love Serpentius. I'm so happy for him. I felt like his death could have been better. It's just kind of a real quick played up for comedic effect death. But then after that comedic effect moment, everyone acts so dramatic about it. Maybe they could have had, you know, more time to dwell on that. If there was one more episode between episodes seven and eight, just saying could have shown more of the training and, Charlie's speech about how she loves all the cannibals would have made more sense because we would have got to see her interact with them more. And I mean, she was talking to everybody, including the longtime uh, hotel patrons. But 
Uh, she was also talking to all the cannibals. It would have been nice to see more of them. Maybe find out a bit more of Rosie's deal as well. I feel like it could have just used one more episode right in there. Just one more episode right in there. Huh. I had another theory. Uh, but there wasn't really anything uh, <laughs> about it in these last couple episodes. They were dropping like two at a time. So, in episode six, Charlie finds out that even angels don't know what decides if someone gets in the heaven and if someone gets in the hell. And Adam seems like a jerk. Like, why is he in heaven? He seems like a really awful guy. He's like a sexist pig and stuff. And then his lieutenant, his right hand or whatever, is like this homophobic bitch and all this stuff. And it's like, why are these two awful people in heaven? And I was thinking, maybe the way to get into heaven is to believe you deserve to be in heaven when you die. And that means that all the bad people in hell kind of think they deserve to be in hell when they die. Which means that they do have regrets and that there is potential for redemption in everyone in hell. Which I think would be a really good idea, but I don't know if it'll be done because they kind of never... Like they mentioned, nobody knew how they get in the hell, or how they get in the heaven, but then they didn't elaborate on it anymore. But maybe they will in the future. But that's it. I love the show. Uh, if you're a fan of if you're a fan of musicals, adult animation, etc., definitely check it out. But that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.